Hello, welcome to another Mr. Peter Bike video, and this one's a little bit different insofar as it's a quick guide on how to clean off the glue of the Hall Effect sensor. So I'm just going to spray some isopropyl on. And you want to try and avoid getting it on the coil. So I sort of got some on here and a bit on the plastic there, that's fine. Um, and that doesn't matter, but try and avoid the coils because um, it will start to eat away at the, uh, at the enamel. And there's a little bit on there, but that should be fine. So just using a toothbrush, that's actually starting to come up okay. So the reason you want to do this, um, in case you don't know, is that this glue becomes conductive over time and uh, it's commonly um, noted and talked about with these machines that uh, the glue does go bad and in the end it will take out the the hold effect sensor and they are not easy to get hold of so let's put a little bit more okay so we've got that pretty well wetted so uh what would be the best thing to use is like a, a dental pick um or um something similar but i am going to use a pair of tweezers um these are cheap and nasty ones i'm just going to clean in between because this glue is now quite soft Just being careful of the legs because the legs can if you go for it too much the legs will break you can see there the glue is dissolving quite nicely You know, first sight, it didn't look like this had an awful lot of glue on, but there's actually quite a lot there. So I'll go for the, um, let's try not to get the coils in the brush strokes. It's looking a lot cleaner. not looking too bad at all you see the little plastic that is actually a little plastic um, divider it's not looking bad at all 
I would actually be quite happy with that. Um, but uh, I want to get it really clean if I can. That's looking really good now. There's not much there at all now. I'll get a Q-tip and just clean off. Yes, I can. Yeah, I reckon we're somewhere near. So what looked like a fairly glue-free sensor is actually fairly difficult to get clean. So I'll just spread a little bit on the actual toothbrush itself. get that if I can there's last bits of I mean this is not gonna fail now I hope <laughs> um, I've never known a Hall Effect fail for um, doing this process, as long as you don't break a leg off. But um, just trying to avoid those coils, which I think I fairly well have. There's a little bit of. Um, a little bit of contamination there. Mm -hmm. 
So there we have it. That's about as clean as I can get it. And it's clean enough. It's enough to actually stop um, any conduction between the, the, the pins of the Hall Effect. But uh, yeah, there you go. So I uh, hope that was helpful. And I will see you in another video. Bye for now.